Okay, in this video, I want to show you a couple of things that are really cool regarding materials and how you see uh, whatever you're sculpting on. So the first one is that just like I show you in other videos that you can bring in custom brushes, you can also bring in custom materials. So in my case, this is just the skin shade four, but you might be familiar with this, which is the Pavlander uh, Super Comic 2022. Um, so this is a uh, comic material that I use in the PC version of ZBrush and it works exactly the same thing here, uh, which is really nice. I can just take a screenshot and then move into Procreate and do some continuous sculpting or continue painting in there. Um, but you'll notice that everything is pretty grayed out compared to the face or if I select something else, um, you know, there's like a, a very noticeable gradient or color um, gray between the different um, selections, right? So what I can do is go to the gear icon right here and let's go to the edit. And under the edit, you have this inactive subtool dimming. So I'm going to push this all the way to one. And now everything has the same value. So um, it's going to be a lot easier to, to visualize the whole thing as a whole, especially when you use something like that. And the other thing you can do is go to the gear icon, go to the canvas and select a white color like so. There we go. So now I can, you know, sculpt in the Zero 4 iPad, but I can also use it to uh, take a little screenshot of this and then refine it in Procreate or something if I'm sketching. So something else that I thought I mentioned, which is pretty cool and is great to have it in the series for iPad. So hopefully that helps.